Internet, welcome back. Steve, graphicdesignertips.com. In this video tutorial for Adobe Muse, I'm going to show you how to make a quick navigation bar, uh, just like the one on the website on the screen. It's very simple. Um, it's very quick to do through Muse, and there's a lot of cool things you can do by changing the, uh, you know, the styles on it when you roll over and, and stuff like that. So we're going to come into the design area, and I'm going to come to my master page right now. I'm going to delete this. And the one thing I'm going to say before I, I create this is you want to make sure you have pages on your site already um, because when you start to make a navigation bar, it's going to be wondering where all your pages are. And uh, if you do your site structure correctly uh, or you just set it up, you don't even have to put content on your pages. But, you know, if here you're seeing about five, I know there's about six parent pages, which are top, top level pages on this website. If you just put them in, name them. And you know, put some child pages if you know you, you got a, an area called services. You want to put a couple services. Get them done in your structure first. You don't have to put any content in them, like I just said. But uh, just so you have that, and we're gonna come back to our master page, and we're gonna come over to our widgets area, menus area, and we're gonna drag a horizontal navigation bar right on our page. Now, if you look, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six buttons here. And these are our top level parent pages and the great thing about this is like I said you made the pages already and that's why they're appearing here automatically if you didn't make the pages you're gonna have one that says home uh, if you even name the first page home so uh, it's it's honestly you really can't even do it any other way I mean you can you could uh, style that one home button and then later on when you add more pages they'll add with the same characters but that's just dumb so basically um, you look at the screen right now we're gonna expand this to fill that area and there's a couple options with this little blue arrow over here you can mess around with them and, and this is um, Adobe Muse is a program that if uh, if you're you know a creative person and it's, it's so simple of a program but you know there's so many aspects and, and things you can do in here you can learn a lot so I don't have to go through each each thing just experiment and see what does what but Basically, um, right now I'm styling my top level pages. If I wanted to style my drop downs, I'm gonna hit all pages and they're gonna pop up in a second. Here we go. Um, there's a lot going on there, so I'm gonna make them disappear for now and I'm just gonna stick with the top levels. Uh, edit together is one I wanna talk about. If you do something to one button, it's gonna change on the next button. And you know, you might be thinking, of course I'd wanna edit together. I don't wanna do each button, you know, every single button is over and over. I wanna do it once and have it apply to all. Well, yes, that's true, but if you're trying to do like a rounded corner navigation bar where just the left is rounded corner and the button all the way to the right is a rounded corner, you have to uncheck edit together and you have to edit the first button by itself all the way to the left and you have to edit the button all the way to the right by itself and then after you're done with that if you like to check edit together just in case you're gonna make future changes you can do that but um just you know play around mess around with it and, and, and you'll get it but the one thing I do want to show you in here is the item size if you notice on all these buttons up here the word staff is only f uh, five letters all right I had a count there I don't want to say four or six um, staff is five letters and contact us is a lot more letters than staff is and basically they're the same size button now if I take this gray bar away it's gonna look pretty stupid it's gonna look like I didn't align everything correctly so we're gonna come into item size and instead of having a uniform size button we're gonna have uniform spacing and right like that you're gonna notice that each button is now its own size and um, the only way that might look funny is if you actually styled each button as a shape and now you have each shape differently but I'm taking this gray background away so I'm just gonna have words floating on the page and I want them to be uniformly spaced it's a clean way of doing design that's how I like to do design that's how everybody honestly should practice doing design clean having things aligned and spacing properly it's uh, it's it's the only way to go in my opinion um, so all right those are the options to the right now say we want to change uh, start changing some stuff on here um, we're going to start messing with the states of the button and when I say states I mean 
what it looks like, you know, when you're on a page, what it looks like when you roll over because you want stuff to change, you know, maybe little effects like that. It uh, adds to the character of the website. And if we click on the navigation bar, there's two areas where we can find the states. If you come up here to the top left, it already says menu item. It's showing you're on the normal state. And basically, while you're on the normal state, this is when you're going to change your attributes. All right. You can drop this down and see the other states. Roll over, mouse down, and an active state. Okay. The only problem with using this area up here is once you click off and you start to mess around with the type and the colors, it disappears. You got to keep clicking it. Down here on the right in the widgets library, uh, well, next to the widgets library, there's a states area, a states tab. And it's going to show you the states. As long as you leave that tab open, you don't have to take your eyes off of it, which is pretty cool. So um, we're going to take uh, right now what we're going to do is since we're editing, editing these together is we're going to take this button and we're going to change. First of all, we're going to change the text on it. And we're going to change it to Comic Sans because it is a sans serif font as, as opposed to the serif Geneva font that we have up there. Oh, excuse me, Georgia. And uh, once we select that, you see the big change right away. Uh, we're going to add a point size onto that, change it to 15, make it a little bit larger. And we're going to now click into the button. All right. And if you see, it's showing, it's, we already see visually from the button, there's a gray background. Now, if we come up here to our fill, it's gray. It's ugly, and I don't like it. So we're going to take this fill out by hitting that drop down and doing a none fill in there. How nice is that? Nice and clean. All right. So basically, the whole background just came out. It's a none fill. But if you look at the states, all right, you're going to notice once we roll over this thing, it's going to change back to that background. So technically, we actually have to go into each state by clicking here, roll over, and we have to go back in and take a none there. All right. Take a none. That sounds funny. Um, we have to go into the mouse down area and put a none there and same thing with the active because I do not like this background. It's terrible. So in here, we're going to create some contrast when you roll over it. So you have a dark blue background, you have a, a white lettering. When we roll over these letters, what I want to happen is I want to make the word home or any of the about us pages. I just punched my microphone, by the way, if uh, I don't know how that's going to sound. But um, if you roll over the type, OK, we're going to change the color of the type and we're going to change it to a light blue right here. OK. All right. So basically, when you roll over any of these, when this is published, it's going to change into this nice light color blue, which is pretty cool. And um, mouse down and active. Now, the active state of this, uh, we can change this to whatever we want also. And uh, as long as you're on the active tab, we can just change the color of the word home again. And in this case, I'm going to change it to a yellow. All right. So I'm going to come into my preview area just to see what we've done so far. And basically, when I roll over home, it's going to turn blue. And when I click on home, it's going to show we're at the home and it's yellow. Voila. Perfect. See how painstakingly quick and easy that is? Um, and when I say easy, I, I don't mean like this is just a, a simple, cheap site builder or anything. This is an Adobe program that is revolutionizing web design. It's making things quicker. It's making designers be able to have more creative edge. And uh, you know, you're not spending 25 to 30 hours on a website. You know, you're spending a lot less and you're doing a lot more creatively. So I see it's a very valuable program. It's uh it's awesome. I just I, I keep losing I lose sleep over this at night. It's so amazing. Uh we're gonna come back into the design area because I want to see if there's anything else I have to show you. And um let's see. All right. If uh do, do, do. All right, we can add a left icon if we wanted. Um, I don't know why you'd want to not show the label, but you can mess around with the settings in there. That's that's basics on navigation. If you want to start uh, doing the top level pages, um, excuse me, the drop down pages, you're gonna select all pages, and you know you're gonna come in here and you're gonna do the same exact thing. You're going to, uh, and not only can you change type, 
you can change background color you can change you know font size and all that stuff you can even change the stroke around an actual you know um, say you have say you have a button it is a physical button these are all buttons but if you have a physical button in the background you know behind the behind the words on the navigation you can change the stroke say you don't want a stroke on the sides but you want a stroke on the top and the bottom you can do that and uh, you know what if I'm confusing the heck out of you I'm gonna show you what I mean real quick all right and then we'll wrap this baby up so we're gonna go into home and we're gonna come into our stroke area on the top and basically and oh oops make sure the states we're at the normal state right now uh, make sure let's see uh, we do not want that to link because once you hit it, it's gonna put the same setting for each side it's basically this is the top of the stroke the left the bottom and the right so we're just gonna add a stroke on the bottom one two and we're gonna add a stroke on the top so basically if you see what happened here and we're gonna change the color to change to the cyan all right if you see what happened here actually that is a pretty cool effect it's just if if you're watching this video and you haven't used Muse yet, you're already seeing the potential. It's amazing. Uh, so that's it, guys. I'm Steve from GraphicDesignerTips.com. This is a quick tutorial. Uh, you can make a million different types of navigation bars, but it's just showing you how easy and quick and simple it is. And uh, that's it. Um, please subscribe to our channel if you found that this video was helpful. And please pass it on to other people because... Uh, I'm sure if it was helpful to you, it should be helpful to somebody else. That's it. And uh, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, have a great night. Peace.